How's it going out there tonight, Fight Fans? This is Bojangles coming at you from TalkHorror.com, and tonight we're going to bring you what is set to be a battle of epic proportions as young up-and-comer Julius sets to take on the Camp Crystal Lake slasher, the man, the myth, the legend, Jason Voorhees. And let me tell you something, folks. This is one for the ages. This is one you are definitely not going to want to miss as Julius cannot wait to get his hands on this man as he has had to watch Jason virtually destroy all of his fellow classmates. And Julius was actually preparing himself earlier in the night against his sparring opponent whom he left lying on the canvas by the time it was all said and done. Julius's footwork was looking absolutely absolutely brilliant. His counter-punching abilities set him above and beyond his opponent. He was working his jab, he was getting in and out of danger, and he even threw in a little bit of showboating for good measure. However, you cannot count that against Jason, as Jason later squared off against the same opponent and absolutely won in devastating fashion. I mean, he left this cat laying, he had to be escorted it out on a stretcher and this without a doubt this young man's future is in question but still yet these two want to face off against each other and, and they just simply cannot wait as you can see in this clip from earlier Jason tried to attack Julius while Julius was trying to make some pre-fight phone calls and this was just uncalled for I mean come on guys we're making this happen in a professional setting this is a sanctioned bout okay you gotta save that type of uh, stuff for the ring there guys so let's go ahead and pull up our tail of the tape for the evening as our uh, two fighters get prepared to enter the ring. Now, the first thing that we're going to look at here is both of these fighters hail from the United States of America. Okay, neither of them are from Manhattan, but still, that means no one gets a home field advantage, okay? Next up, we have their records. Julius comes in with an undefeated record of 1-0, and oh, while as Jason has a staggering 80-4 and four record. Now, there are four losses on his record where Julius is undefeated, but still, you can't take that away from Jason. I mean, that experience is going to come into play here tonight, I have a feeling. Going down the list, Julius is only 18 years of age, whereas Jason is 61. Definitely a huge advantage there for Julius. Uh, but, once again, experience, I have a feeling, is going to play a factor in this one. It is going to answer the question of who wins, the young buck or the old bull. Height. We're basically dead even as Julius comes in at a lanky six foot one, while Jason is a six foot two. Only an inch separates these two opponents. However, the number of the night we're going to have to look at here is the weight. This is a catch weight fight. Julius comes in at 165 pounds, whereas Jason is at a staggering, a whopping 250 pounds. This is going to be huge, folks. Let me tell you. Julius is going to want to keep his distance from his opponent. He does not want to get within arm's reach of Jason. He does not want to tie up with Jason, okay? If he has to carry the weight of his opponent, that is going to drastically reduce his stamina. So Julius is going to want to work that jab, he's going to want to use his footwork to his ability, he's going to want to use his quickness, his speed, his agility to get in and out, pop off some jabs, and back up immediately. Okay, and now I'm uh, hearing that our fighters are now on the rooftop of Manhattan, ready to get this thing underway, so let's go ahead and check out the action. Okay, we have Julius coming out. I mean, he's working his footwork early. He's got a nice stance going. He's keeping it low. Uh, that'll give him the ability to protect his midsection as well as his head. Oh, he's excellent footwork here from Julius. Oh, and he pops off, he pops off a jab there. Oh, pops off another one. And, and these are unanswered shots here. Julius is really imposing his will on his opponent at this point. 
Oh, and we knew this would be a factor. We knew the quickness, the blinding quickness of Julius would definitely work in his favor tonight. Jason still has yet to even attempt a punch against his younger opponent here. And Julius going to the body quick. And this is something This is something I knew he would do that's really going to affect Jason's breathing. That's really going to affect Jason's stamina in the long run. But what I'd like to do is see Julius go low and then go high. Mix it up a little bit here. But still, you can't argue. I mean, these are unanswered punches. These are knockout blows, folks, that Julius is delivering. J you have to wonder what, Jay what is going through Jason's mind at this point. But that I have seen this technique before. This could be the classic rope-a-dope, which was perfected by boxing legend Muhammad Ali. And Ju Julius looks like he's a, a adrenaline dump here. Julius is really... Uh, you know, his footing is unsure. He's really slowing down. Uh, I don't know what this, uh, it looks like Julius is drained of his stamina. It looks like a little bit of, uh, trash talk on Julius's behalf here. I can't make out what he's saying, but definitely some trash. And Jason, Gr he's got Julius, he's got Julius, this is why, oh my god! An absolutely devastating blow! Delivered to the young Julius. Oh my god, that's a knockout. And just like that, it's all over, folks. Jason has this one in the bag. Let's go ahead and get a replay of that. It looks, you know, Julius was slowing down. His footing became a bit unsure. And Jason just grabbed a hold of his collar, which is definitely what Julius did not want to happen. And it looks like Jason delivered... Oh, and it was a perfectly placed hook that did it right behind the ear. Knockout blow. Ju right now, Julius's career is definitely up in there. It'll be interesting to see how he rebounds from this. Uh, what that's going to do to his mindset moving forward. As for Jason, you know, you gotta question what's next for the big guy. I mean, this was a decisive victory. Uh, and, you know, uh, definitely people, uh, his opponents backstage were watching this. And uh, I'd hate to be the next person that gets into the ring with him. But... That does it for tonight, Fight Fans. Once again, this is Bojangles coming at you from TalkHorror.com. And until next time, Fight Fans, take it easy.